Hey everyone, it's Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens, and today is September 9th, 2011, and today we're going to talk about the fireworks variegate, variegated red fountain grass. First year for it, and it's passed my test. I am loving the show it is putting on in this pot right here. Now, I normally will have the Reuben right here, fountain grass, which I love too, but look at the dramatic show of that in a pot. The red coloring, beautiful. This is a full sun grass, gets 24 to 30 inches tall. And the plumes, look at the plumes too, they're even a little different, a little bit different than what we have on the purple fountain grass. But I tell you, I love them both kind of like in the fireworks grass although it don't get as tall but it's still really nice I'm just going to take you around and show them to you here this one's actually got a combination of both the fountain grass and the fireworks grass right there but I'm going to take you around and show you a little more of what this looks like in the landscape all right here's another one in a pot um, this were these were plants I had left over and this is what got put in a pot I hate throwing things out. I really, really do. But look at that. This is grown for its foliage, and I can see why. These are an annual except in zones 9 to 11. Hardy to 25 degrees. But let's look a little closer on the blades. What do you think of those? Aren't they beautiful? I love grasses, any kind of ornamental grasses. And, you know, it's not a perennial in our area, but, hey, it's, gave, it's given me enough satisfaction, and I'm happy with it. Here's one I planted in the ground right here. And it's done pretty well. But I got these in late, so I am wondering if it would have been a little bigger if I would have got them in sooner. I think so. I really do. But check it out. They got some hail damage on them too, but they still look pretty nice. This one I planted in amongst some different grasses, and it's kind of hiding back here. But it's still pretty. You know, I can see it, and I just love it to death. So the fireworks grass has passed my test. There's a couple more here I have in pots. They're good in containers or landscapes and honestly I can see why they do so well. I love it. It does good in our zone 5 and I wouldn't be afraid to plant it. So what if it doesn't come back? You know, you get a lot of satisfaction out of these annual grasses that you don't necessarily get with perennial grasses. So what do you think? Give me your comments. I'd love to know if you've, if you've grown this one, if you have it in your landscape. Well, we'll talk to you later on the next video, and happy growing.